Well, if you're looking for the perfect place to staycation, why not get some R&R &R at Tucson's oldest resort? Aren't staycations some of the best vacations? Yes, there is a whole lot to love about Westward Look, and the general manager of the resort is here with us now, Andrew Stegan. He's going to give us something to daydream about. It's good <laughs> yeah. to have you here. We, we well, need you. that, especially on a Monday. Yes. Perfect. Thanks so, for inviting me. Uh, so many of us are familiar with Westward Look, but you guys are getting in the midst of a renovation right now. We are. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, Westward Look, it's, it's over 100 years old. It's actually as old as the, the state of Arizona. And so, but it's time for a renovation. And so we're doing a complete renovation of everything from the guest rooms to the meeting space to even the outside of the buildings. You know, there's 35 buildings. And so we're painting those, re-asphalting uh, the spa. Uh, we're, uh, we just put $100,000 into our tennis courts and we've held two um, professional tennis tournaments this year. Mm -hmm. So far, we've got another one coming up in, in, uh, in November. So we're starting that process now. Uh, during the summer, we're doing the, the meeting space. That mm -hmm. should be done by September and then probably in November and December, we're going to start doing the guest rooms. Wow, that's a lot of work. It, it is. is. And I mean, anybody who's been there knows how gorgeous it is. And even though there's some things that are changing, you can't change its history. And we'll get to Absolutely. some of that a little bit later. But let's talk about the chef's garden, for example, because the food that you can get there is, is fresh, it's delicious. Talk about the philosophy behind that. Well, we have a new chef, Todd Ciccolo, who's been with us about six or seven months. And, mm -hmm. and I've worked with him previously, but uh, he has worked with Chef Morimoto. And, and so uh -huh. he's a huge believer in farm to table. And so our we've expanded, we've doubled the size of our chef's garden. And uh, so a lot of the, uh, most of the products that are, are on the table are, are gonna come from there. And actually I was there yesterday and we've got these, these large artichokes about ready to, uh, mm. to harvest. And, and uh, so the experiential part of that also will have uh, groups and, and, and individual guests can go walk through the, the chef's garden. and, oh, and uh, nice. So, uh, so that's, that's our goal as we, we proceed through the summer with that. And speaking of experiences, you do that there because that's what we're looking for now. Absolutely. All, we all want to know where's the adventure when mm -hmm. we go on vacation. Yes, and so we have, we have that aspect. We have stables, uh, we have nature trails, and uh, we've got uh, uh, also so the, the tennis courts in the outside. Uh, uh, because the, the resort is so spread out over 88 acres, mm -hmm. we don't have any interior uh, guest room corridor, so you're really outside. If you walk outside your room, you're you're out in, in nature. And, and uh, actually saw a, uh, a huge owl in uh, in, in the uh, near the hotel uh, mm. just last week. So mm -hmm. there's lots of wildlife around. It's amazing what you can see. And I mean, obviously, it, you everything's well thought out. And, yes. and it, you're the first green resort, right? You were green a long time yes, ago before are. anybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about some of the landscaping too, because that's intentional as well. It is, and we have, uh, we're, we're blessed that we have a, a landscaper who's been there uh, over 30 years, Ramundo, and uh, we yeah, on, on the, uh, the the property we have also one of the, the few avocado trees that are growing in Southern California, uh, sorry, Southern Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, so uh, Ramundo, uh, he, he uh, gives nature walks uh, two or three times a week, and, and uh, he really loves that. And so I've never met a guest that hasn't come back, and even locals who haven't said, uh, you know, I learned something. That's well, right. and we were seeing pictures of the Old West. Tell us about some of the people who have stayed there. Well, back in the day, we had, um, you know, John Wayne would stay there literally um, months on end because he would uh, film a lot of his, uh, uh, his westerns down at, mm -hmm. uh, at Tucson Studios and Dean Martin and, and uh, a lot of that, that, that gang in, in that area. And so uh, we, we still have pictures of them back there and uh, and uh, we uh, d you know we display that uh, prom prominently throughout the resort. Mm -hmm. A famous painter once was there too, once stayed there, right? Did, wasn't he responsible for those old Santa Claus? Yes, yes, the gentleman, and I, I'm sorry, his name escapes me at this point. That's but, me uh, too. <laughs> yeah, but he's he, talented, uh, that we know. He, yeah, he, he uh, painted the, the old Coca-Cola commercials and he actually used the uh, the children of the owner That's right. as as, uh, as props and, and uh, so, uh, and I'm sorry, I forget his name at this point. Yeah, but okay. it's so nostalgic and yes, we all absolutely. remember them. Mm -hmm. and yeah. There is quite a feeling when you go out there. I remember times where I've gone out there during Christmas and I've mm -hmm. seen the pictures um, that he put together and also just the mesquite, the mesquite yeah. wood on yes. the fire and you just get this overwhelming sense that you're transported back into history when you're there. Absolutely. Is that a feel that you get to? It, it is and that's something that we really want to ac accentuate because really we're right off of Vina and, mm -hmm. and so these days we're in Tucson, although back in the day it was uh, several miles from Tucson and so but uh, with a long drive up to the resort you really feel that you're in the wilderness and the, the backdrop of the Catalina Mountains mm -hmm. so, you, so you're you're within Tucson but uh, you, you feel that you're 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 very far out. Well and that's the idea isn't it I mean when you want to do a staycation you want to go somewhere that makes you mm -hmm. you're still close to home I'm a big fan of staycations yes. I can't really stand necessarily right. traveling really far distances mm -hmm. but when you can go to a place like Westward Look like you say 
it's it's trans it transports you. You feel like Absolutely. you're in a different paradise mm -hmm. yes. with the pools, with the tennis courts, everything. Great escape right down the street from us. Absolutely, and we've got uh, Say Yes to Summer campaign, which uh, offers rates uh, as low as one oh nine plus a twenty five dollar resort credit. So uh, we we would love the whole town to come out. So beautiful. We Thank you will. so much, Andrew, for being here this morning. Thank nice you very much. You. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks very much. Enjoy <laughs> the rest of the day. The summer westward look uh, rates are amazing, starting at 109, also including 25 in resort credit, $25. For more information, check out westwardlook.com or call 520-297-1151. And you can enter the staycation sweepstakes for your chance to win one of two staycations at the Westward Look Wyndham Grand Resort and Spa. If you want more information and to get entered, visit kgun9.com slash contests.